Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to Krista's Country Kitchen. Today, um, I wanted to show you a super fast, delicious soup. It's one of our favorites. It's so quick. It's so easy. Um, I keep all of these items in my pantry so that I can whip this up anytime we want. The boys are out and about today. I don't know when they're going to be home. So this is a great soup to make to keep on the stove. Um, simmering. I would normally put it in my little slow cooker back here, but it is full of pheasants um, that I've cooked because we're going to make some pheasant noodles tomorrow. So anyway, I have my La Crosse. She's my French beauty. She's um, Dutch oven. I've always wanted one and a few months ago I um, broke down and bought me one and I do not regret it. I love her. So anyway, uh, this is a quick, easy soup. I have here my skillet. Two pounds of ground beef with onions. I like to keep it a little chunky, like me. So, um, however you want to do your ground beef, I like it chunky for this soup. Now this is called hamburger soup, so use hamburger. I don't really know what it's called. The first time I ever had hamburger in um, soup like this was my mother-in-law made it. When my dad made a vegetable soup, it was always with a beef roast. Actually, I like this better. I did not like vegetable soup when I was younger. I like it now, but then I did not. Okay, so we've got our two pounds of ground beef with onion. I did salt, pepper, garlic to that ground beef while I was cooking. There we go, right into my pan. I'm going to add, I told you this is simple. This is my recipe, my version. These are mixed vegetables, canned mixed vegetables. These came from Aldi. I don't know if you have an Aldi. Um, they're just a mixed vegetable. I'm gonna pour it right in. I'm not even gonna drain that broth. It's so simple. I'm gonna do three cans of this, okay? Three cans. Now, listen, if you have kids at home who will only eat corn or potatoes, corn and potatoes, just put a can of corn and a can of potatoes in it. It's your kids. It's your recipe. Do what you want. This particular mixed vegetable has in corn, green beans, carrots, potatoes, looks like some celery, and some lima beans and peas. Hmm. Okay. I've never really paid attention to what vegetables they were. They're just yummy. So we've got in our three cans of mixed vegetable. Now we're going to add in one can of diced tomatoes. This has the onion, celery, and green pepper, which is my favorite. If you want to add just plain tomatoes, that's fine. A can, don't even drain the juice. Okay. We go. And then we're going to add one can of tomato soup. Just trust me, one can of condensed tomato soup. It smells so good already. I haven't even put it on the stove. This is one of our favorites. I haven't met anybody who doesn't like it yet, but no, I'm sure there's somebody out there. Okay, so now we've got that beef stock. We're gonna add it in. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. It's taking its time. Like molasses. Okay. So that is um, 32 ounces of beef stock. Okay. Go. Now, if you would like the broth thinner, if you like a soupier soup, some people like thick, some people like thin, um, just add a little bit of more water. Okay. And then we're going to add... Um, Two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Okay. Then we're going to add um, about a, a teaspoon of rosemary. You can leave it out if you don't want it. It's fine. A teaspoon of basil. A teaspoon of turmeric. I say that wrong. I know. I've been trying to pronounce it right. Turmeric. See, I can't, even, I can't even form my tongue to do it. My husband has gout arthritis, 
So whenever I can add turmeric to a dish, I do because it is a anti-inflammatory. That's it, folks. Um, like I said, I've salted and peppered that um, meat when I was cooking it. And um, the beef broth's kind of salty. So I'm just going to grab a spoon and see if I need to add anything else uh, broth salt-wise. Might add a little bit more salt. Personal preference. And there we have it, folks. That is it. The quickest soup. I'm going to put right here on my burner. I'm going to turn her on. I'm going to turn her up to uh, about a medium. Get it all incorporated. Get it dancing. Get it hanging out. And then once everything gets good and melted together, I said melted, good, not melted. Um, I'll put the lid on it and I'll turn it down to low. And I'll just let it simmer till the boys get home. Also, I made some brownies. Forgot to turn the camera on. So I'm going to show you real quick the brownies. Looks like a little mouse tested a corner. If you want to make the brownies, I can give you the recipe really quick. It's super simple to make a homemade brownie. You don't have to go get a mix. Two sticks of butter, which is one cup. I put it in the microwave for 20 seconds to get it softened. I set it out on the counter and it didn't soften overnight that much. To that, you have um, two cups of granulated sugar, two cups of self-rising flour, and then you're going to have four teaspoons of vanilla and four eggs. So, cream your butter and sugar together, add in your um, eggs, add in your vanilla, add in your flour, mix it around, do the hokey pokey. This is in a glass, is in a dark pan, so it took a little longer to bake. This is a 9 by 13. It took well, about 35 minutes worth of bake in this dark pan. So start checking it at 20 minutes and then um, go from there. So there's the brownies. Got to show you. They're delicious. They're like a cake type brownie, so it would hold up really well with like some ice cream or something like this. I didn't put any walnuts in it because Mesa doesn't like walnuts. I love walnuts, but. I didn't put it in there for him. So there you have it. Quick, easy soup, one pot meal. Um, well, actually two if you count the burger. And um, we serve it with crackers. Also, it's good with a PBJ. Um, it's good with slices of cheese. It's good with some baby gherkins on the side. So anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Um, next week we go back to work, so you won't see my face as often because I've been on vacation this week. So if I'm getting on your nerves, you won't see me as much. So anyway, there we go. Quick soup. Have a good afternoon. Try it. It's delicious. Bye.